we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy but things are finally right With you and I the future is bright YouTube channel no te olvides subscribe today I have something super special for you guys in store today we're gonna do some back to school shopping and I'm going to bring you along with me I've been homeschooling my daughter ever since she was in kindergarten she has been homeschool she is now going into the fourth grade and today I want to show you guys exactly what I get to help me prepare for the school year let's go I'm gonna take you along with me Okay, so the first things first, you want to get things for your kids. Now depending on what the age your kids are, it's the things that you're going to get. And then we're going to move on to the things that you're going to need as a teacher. So here we go, let's do what your kids need. So the first thing that your kids are going to need is a pencil box. Why a pencil box? Because in school it keeps all their things together and you want to do the same thing. Now they have different types of boxes but you can choose of course what's best for your kids. They have boxes that are just 99 cents. Um, usually I like to get these because I can separate my kids color crayons and markers and then their pencils and their sharpener and they're very inexpensive. These are super super cute so I'm going to get this one because my daughter loves Galaxy. And then I'm going to get this one for my son. And this one for my daughter. Now, now those boxes are just going to be for them to put their pencils, to put their um, to put their pencils, to put their sharpeners, and then I'm going to get a cheaper box for 99 cents for them to put their crayons and their markers. A green one. And a purple. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is that we're going to get dividers. That's my best friend right there. <laughs> we are going to get dividers. Why are we going to get dividers? Because it's the best thing to do is divide your subjects by divider. What do I mean by that? So we will choose white for math. We will choose pink for English. Red for science. And, and maybe black for art. So we are, it's the best thing to do is divide your subjects that way. Whenever they're done with their paper, they just stick it in their binder and it's easy for you to correct. And it's easy for you to just have everything really nice and organized. And the best part about this, have these little pockets. They have these little pockets on the top. And you can print out a picture for science. Um, and you can just put it in the front so they know which, um, which binder is which. These are 147. But you can opt to do this one for $5.47 and it comes already with four binders. You don't get the fun of having the colors, but you can decorate it yourself. I do the colors because it's easier for me, but you can do that. Okay. It's very important for each one of your kids to have their own color crayons. I repeat, it's very important for them to have their own color crayons because you don't want them fighting over, hey, she has the red, I need the red. So please, just because you're not in school doesn't mean that they can't have their own things. So we're gonna get one, two, three. 97. Then we're gonna get three markers, which is only 97 cents, which is not bad. So we're gonna get one, two, and three. So now this is just my preference. I got them skinny markers, but I also get them thicker markers because the skinny markers, I feel like they're more for like really, really certain art projects. And then the thicker markers are for more fun coloring. So I'm gonna get three more markers, but the thicker ones. These are 247. One, two, three. 
so like I mentioned before, I have a fourth grader. So she's gonna need a little bit more intense things than my second grader and my kindergartner. So my third grader, so for my fourth grader, I'm gonna get her some highlighters because she's gonna be doing definitions, vocabulary, and I want her to just go and highlight what she needs. So like we're gonna get her highlighters and I'm gonna get her the little ones because I feel like the thicker ones are really hard to manage and these are only $2.54. Okay, and the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to get pencils and erasers. Now my daughter is really big on lead pencils. So what I will do is that I will buy her a whole pack, a big pack of lead pencils so it can last her the whole school year. And then I'm gonna get my son the regular pencils, a big pack so it can also last him the whole school year. Along with that, we need to get erasers and of course sharpeners. I actually got my kids already an electric sharpener, it's at home. So I really recommend an electric sharpener. One, because it gives them that class feeling and they like sharpening their pencil. And two, because it doesn't break as easily as other um, sharpeners. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna get my daughter these right here. The point is 0 0.7. I feel like any other point is too thin. And this is 544. So as for pencils, you get what you pay for. They have these big packs that are only $1.89. However, I noticed that they break way too easily. So I am gonna go ahead and get this brand. And ah, I'm gonna get this brand and it's gonna be $10, but you get what you pay for, so. Erasers. And these are 146 glue paint brushes and of course scissors so we're gonna do that now so we're gonna get them glue sticks I'm like actually just get two and these are 318 okay and you can and you can get glue for them you can opt to get the little glue the medium glue or the big glue for it to last the whole um, school semester but I am gonna just get them the biggest glue the medium glue and let me tell you, I choose to have glue sticks and regular glue because they both work for different arts and craft projects. So that's my preference. I like to get them both, but you can decide to just get one, but I get them both because like I said, I need both. Then we're gonna do safety scissors. I'm gonna get this one, this one, and these are only $2.97. You need rulers because they're going to be doing math and these rulers are 47 cents Okay, so now another thing just like binders you want to get different notebooks for different subjects So we're going to get our science We are going to get our math We are going to get our English So like I said, it's very very important to have different notebooks for different subjects and it's 88 cents only Okay, so that's pretty much the basics of what they need. Scissors, glue, markers, crayons, um, highlighter, erasers, um, pencil boxes. That's pretty much what they need. And now, we are gonna do the fun stuff. We deserve the best, and I'm gonna tell you exactly what you need to make this school year super successful. Let's go. First things first, you wanna get yourself a planner. These cute planners. Super, super, duper cute planners. Um, they are pretty pricey, so if you go to Hobby Lobby, it might be cheaper, but you might wanna get a planner for yourself. The reason why you want a planner is because you wanna plan your curriculum very, very precise. All you have to do is be one step ahead of the game. Now, you wanna get yourself a big binder for yourself. Why? Because you wanna have all your curriculums and binders. So if you're doing math, you want to have a curriculum for math, you want to have a, a binder for English, you want to have a binder for science. That way it's really easy for you to stick the curriculum in one place and for you to just pull it out when you need it. That's the best 87. thing to do. I am not going to get one right now because I already have one at home. But the best thing to do is to get yourself a whiteboard. Another thing that you can do is get yourself a, a bulletin board, which there is 1084 you want to get yourself a bulletin board is because you can put all your kids 
little um, designs, little arts and crafts, and not only that, but little announcements for your kids to read. A little announcement for your kids to read, and that's like the best thing. So they will like putting the little arts and crafts there. It's pretty neat. The thing that's really good that you're gonna need is a whiteboard. The reason why you want a whiteboard is because in school the kids are visual learners, so they need to learn with the white with the whiteboard, and they like you can show them their math and things like that. So you're gonna need a whiteboard, and you're gonna need some um, Expo markers. You're going to need index cards to teach your kids mathematics. So that's going to be 48 cents. You're also going to need sticky notes for yourself. So whenever you grade your kids paper, you can just put some extra notes on there for you to remember or for them to see. Paint, very important. So it's very important to get white because with white you can make pink and you can make other colors. So get pink. I'm not sure how much these are. They don't have the price. However, it's very important for your kids to have a whiteboard so when you're doing some multiplication or some addition on the whiteboard, they can follow along with their own whiteboard. Okay, so my camera just officially died but I wanna keep this momentum going. So I'm gonna keep going. Another thing that you need is pens, not just regular black pens, you're also going to need a red pen. Why? It's so important to have a red pen so when your kiddos make a mistake, you circle it, you let them know, hey, go back and fix it. And they know that every time they see that little red mark, it's because something was wrong and it's going to want to make them want to fix it. We get one red and we're going to get one, we're going to get one black and they are 344. Um, also, I know the whiteboard that I had came with its own markers, but I, I prefer the Expo brand. Favorite thing to get is these packs because they come on all different colors, black, red, blue, and the kiddos love to see the different colors in the Expos. And I get this because usually the markers that come with the whiteboard, like these right here, don't really work as well as the Expos. And of course, you need construction paper. Now, I do not like the Spark brand. I like the Crayola. We're gonna go and look for the Crayola because I don't like the Spark brand. I feel like they rip too easily. So let's go find the Crayola. Maybe down this way. Right here. Okay, so we found it. Like I said, Crayola Extraction Paper is the best. There is no other, and the price to this is, where is it at? The price to this is, no, that's not it. I don't know what the price to this is. The price to this is just $2.28. So we're gonna get some construction paper. We're gonna get three of them, because I have three kiddos. Like I said, the most important part of the most important part of school, the most important part of school is just the fun. We can have some fun with the kids. Just because we're at home doesn't mean that we cannot have fun. We can have a lot of fun because hey, one, you're their parent. You can do it all, right? Another thing that I'm gonna get for my kindergarten is this right here, so she can start learning how to write her name and little sentences. Now they don't have a price for that. Everything is really, really mumbo jumbo, but I'm taking it. It might be around $2 or so. So we're gonna keep going. So the next thing that I get is white paper. So these are $3.97. Um, you can opt to buy the whole box or you can buy it just alone. Oh. Now the next thing you wanna get is scissors and these are $1.88. $3.87, the tape dispenser. And $9.87 for this big pack, but you can of course just get the little pack for $3.56. Which that is what I am going to do. Okay, so I'm not going to buy one because I already have one, but what I recommend for all teachers is to get their very own personal laminator. Because lamination is great for arts and crafts, it's great for a lot of things that you wanna do. So lamination paper is a must in my list. And they usually go for $21, the lamination machine and the lamination paper over there, which is 12, 
which is $12.88. So the next thing you want to get is, of course, a hole puncher, a hole puncher, a stapler, and some, and a stapler remover. And we're in luck today because they actually have a little combo package that you can get. You can opt to get, of course, the, the individual, but personally me, I think I'm gonna need the package, so I'm gonna hold, go ahead and get that. So it comes with a stapler, some staples, a staple remover, and a hole puncher, and it's $20. Okay, so this is everything that I've got for the homeschooling year. It looks like a lot, but trust me, you're only going to need this for the whole school year. You're not going to need it anything else anymore. You just need your basics to start. So if you're your first time homeschooling mom, this is exactly the things that you might need to start homeschooling. Like I said, most of the stuff I already have at home, but I just wanted to give you guys a gist of what you will need and the prices to things that you might have to get. Today. So I hope that this was helpful for you guys. I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna unpack these things in my next video and I'm gonna take you along when I do that. So yeah, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, like this video. And yeah, thank you so much for everything and for all you guys' support. I hope to you guys see you soon in my next video. Bye.